Hello everyone. I'm Swati Sinha welcoming you all to our channel She Coaches brought to you by Perfect. She Coaches is a group of super talented women engineers who are amazing at program. And today we have with us a very talented backend engineer, a code talker, a book author, a data science enthusiast and soon to be famous for her anthology hashtag Miss Anjali Sharma. Hello, Archil. A big warm welcome to She Codes, uh, the second episode with us. Uh, so, how are you doing? Uh, how is the lockdown treating you these days? Yeah, hi, Swati, and thank you for inviting me here. And the lockdown, uh, yeah, it is not that interesting, and we have to work from home. So, I think that working from home, the workload is more because since you have the laptop always with you, whenever work comes, you have to do it uh, instantly. So, but nice. traveling is not there that time is saved and i can utilize it to develop my skills so in short it is good that's really nice um, i'm happy to hear that that you're taking lockdown in a very uh, positive manner and you're able to work from home that's interesting so uh, let's kick kick start this uh, episode and uh, let's talk about yourself uh, your uh, professional journey a little bit about your family uh and uh, little little bit about yourself uh, you want to share with us okay um uh, so i'll start about myself so i remember that as a kid i was always asked that what i have to become in life on a professional front so i used to always say that i wanted to become a doctor and uh, then in a fancy dress competition also i became a doctor and during my uh, college i took a biology along with maths because i wanted to be sure about my decision but later i understood that my inclination toward the tech world is more and then i landed up doing my graduation in computer science from mumbai university and then through college placement i got into reliance geo and this is how my journey in tech world started and my parents have been very supportive about me Uh, i have a younger sister she's pursuing ca so they have been very supportive that though we are daughters they have never stopped us from uh, pursuing our goals and we have free wings to explore the world and uh, as far as my uh, tenure in geo is considered i have got mm-hmm. to work on various things like i initially started as an android developer and now i'm working into back end engineering so i've got the best of both worlds that is client as well as server so it has been a nice learning experience and um, uh, apart from it i find myself as a very creative person so i even write blogs i have authored an ebook which is a subject of fifth semester of mumbai university in computer engineering and i have developed actions on google i participate in hackathons so i keep myself busy with all those things as i really like exploring new stuff wonderful so, wonderful that's that's really uh, inspiring to know that along with the technology uh, world technology uh, upcoming technologies you're able to do creative stuff as well so why don't you talk a little yeah. bit about your blogs the ebook ebook you talked about the kind of you know uh, creative uh, poems that you uh, write uh, you have you've have, you've written that on a perfect blog as well so just yeah. talk about those yeah Yeah, so uh, my inclination towards writing started from the childhood only, and I will say that I got this quality from my mother because she always encouraged me to participate in elocution, speech competitions, and all. That I had to write and speak a lot. So this is how it all started. So in childhood, writing just diaries to writing an e-book, it was a great journey. and i think writing is a very good quality and we all should possess it to free the clutter out of our mind because when we write it widens our horizon and it helps us to have a clear understanding of various things so i just don't write to gain proficiency but to uh, get efficiency in life and wow. the ebook which i wrote Uh, mm-hmm. which is a computer engineering subject so i really like that subject it was about software engineering so that was a great experience because i never thought that i would be able to author a book but then it was a great experience 
Absolutely. At a very young age, uh, you've been able to write books. Uh, that's that's commendable. And and uh, on the technology front, uh, what are the important things, according to you, um, as a developer, someone should keep in mind while while developing a product? Okay. So, uh, uh, being in a product based company, what I have learned that building scalable products is very important. Uh, now. Uh, for example, if you are on an app and mm -hmm. in that app page, images are getting loaded. If it takes two seconds, three seconds, you will wait, but not more than five seconds. And it has been, uh, it has been observed in a report that 61% of users will not go to the app second time if they had a bad experience from it. And hence, it is very important to build scalable products where time complexity and space complexity matters a lot. Because you today your application is being used by 10,000. Tomorrow, 1 lakh people will use. Next day, 1 crore people will use. So you won't change the application, but you have to make it in such a way that it will be able to handle that much load. That is scalable products. So one should always keep in mind that while then scalability should be considered. Very, very useful uh, information uh, that you've just given. So uh, what, according to you these days, uh, is lacking in the technology world, uh, especially okay. at this point in time? Okay. Um, so as far as technology is considered, we have progressed a lot. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I think that we have not progressed is having women engineers in leadership roles. So right. not only in our country, but in throughout the world, we find very few women at CEO level, COO level, at leadership roles. Uh -huh. It is not because they are not capable of it. They should be given opportunities. And for many women, family becomes a priority and career takes a backstage. But uh -huh. I think that women should be given equal opportunities. Uh, so the COO of Facebook, that is Sheryl Sandberg, I really find her very inspiring and her book Lean In is an awesome read. And I think yeah. everyone should read it because it is about empowering and uplifting women. So right. I really like it. And uh, one more thing which I would like to say is that according to an analysis made on GitHub, 78.6% codes which are accepted on GitHub are 4% more of women. The courses are accepted, but they are accepted when the gender of the person is not known. So when it is not known that the woman has written the code, the uh, the possibility of accepting the code is more. So it means that women are more good in technology or as good as men, but the perception of the society needs to be changed. Yeah, you, you actually hit the nail uh, because my next question was about uh, women engineer. How has been yeah. your, particularly your journey as a women engineer and what would be your message to the women engineers around uh, since you have read uh, books, since you've, you've known those facts, you've been in the yeah. journey. What, what is your reaction? What, are you, what is your message out there? Uh, so as far as my journey is considered, I find myself very fortunate because I have never faced discrimination. I have been always motivated and encouraged by my parents as well as my colleagues and my managers to excel in life. And um, I've got great guidance from the leadership under whom I am working. I've never faced this problem, but this problem is prevalent in the world. And to women engineers, I would like to say that you should not consider yourself less than anyone. You should have the confidence in you and have like whenever the opportunities come your way, grab mm -hmm. it. Don't think that you are not capable of it. And this is only what I would like to say all the women engineers that do well and just grab all the opportunities. And uh, what about the techies, the not, the engineers, uh, students uh, out there? Do you have any special message to them? Um, so, like, as a student, even I was very, I used to get very worried that how would be my first job? How would be the experience? Mm -hmm. Will I be able to work? Because I have never been part of the corporate world. So how it would be? So, uh, let me tell you one thing that... Uh, 
after completing my third year engineering mm-hmm. i did an internship and my final year project was also an external project that mm-hmm. is a company project so it really helped me to understand how the corporate world works how projects are handled so before getting my first job i got a first hand knowledge that how the process is so i think internship should be done and one should not think that whether it is a paid internship or unpaid internship because at the start of your career knowledge and learning matters more than the monetary gains and eventually when you will enhance your skills and develop those things monetary gains will happen but i think one should or uh, develop their skills and um, practice makes a man perfect so do coding regularly have a hold over data structures algorithms and eventually everything will happen just smoothly absolutely wonderful words uh, do you have uh, any other thing you wanted to discuss with us uh, since you know uh, we are running out of time uh, do you have anything yeah. that you would like to uh, talk with us um so as i told that my journey has been very good and the journey is very short and sweet and there is much more to come and there are many technologies on which i'm working and which i will work in future so there is a lot more to explore and i would say everyone that keep exploring keep learning new stuff if today you have knowledge of anything then have the excitement and have the curiousness to learn new technologies also be a full stack developer and it will help you in the long run and it will have a upper edge over other people so just learn keep on learning things and developing your skills and especially in this situation where you don't have really exposure to a lot of distractions around so you can yeah. definitely learn and grow uh, in in the professional yeah. journey so yeah. thank and you have the time also a lot now there is a lot of time also there if you utilize yes. it yes all right so thank you so much anchal uh, for uh, coming to our channel and talking about your experience and your message to uh, women engineers and the students around thank you so much i wish you a very all the best in your career and uh, stay in touch yeah yeah and thank you for giving me this opportunity to uh, to make people hear my noise that what i have to say about my life my journey It was a pleasure, uh, Anshul. Thank you so much. Thank you, Swati. Yeah. Bye. Bye.